Hey y'all, welcome to this special episode of the Alien Abduction Support Group. My name is Cheryl and I am a member of the Alien Abduction Support Group with Jesse. So I wanted to come on this little television show deal that Jesse has going on. So I wanted to share my story as someone who strongly believes in aliens. Why do I believe in aliens? You might be wondering. Well, I have actually seen them with my own eyes. So let me tell you, I was back, this was in 1999, I was back at the farm in my hometown and I was milking a cow by myself and I was out there on the field and all of a sudden my cow, Petunia, started acting kind of funny and I was like, what's going on, Petunia? So I look up. And I notice that there is something in the sky that like should not be there. So I see this funny looking thing in the sky and I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I take my little tushy up the hill and what do I see? I see what they call now a UAP. At the time, back in those days, we called it a UFO. Darling, I have just got to let you know that... I was shocked. I was like, holy moly, there is something in the sky. This is uh, not what you expect to see, you know? So, I noticed that the UFO is not really paying any attention to me, but it seems to be giving Petunia a lot of attention. So, I'm like, what the hell? This UFO does not know how much I love my cow Petunia. So, I take my booty back down the hill and I go over to Petunia and I walk her back inside and I hear a strange noise. Now, I'm a little scared at this point, but I decide that I should go outside. And what do you think I see? I see a little alien man that I now know to be what they call a gray alien. and. My, my, he was just standing right there in front of me. And he was kind of looking over me, trying to see what Petunia was up to, but I had her locked away. And so we're kind of like looking at each other, but he's kind of looking past me, looking for Petunia. And uh, this goes on for about, I don't know, it felt like 30 seconds. And then all of a sudden, he was just gone. I looked up, there was no more UFO. I do not know what happened, but I do know that I saw a little green man when I was milking that cow. Me and Petunia, like we were both a little bit nervous now, but I still had to finish milking her. So I thought I could milk her inside, but neither of us were really used to that. It wasn't really going very well. So we went back outside. I'm like, it's been around 15 minutes. It went, The alien guy went away. It was daylight. We were in the sun. And so I thought it was fine. So me and Petunia, we went out and I started milking her again. And what do you know? Out in the sky, I see a little twinkle. Now, this is daylight. You are not supposed to be seeing stars. And so I'm like, Petunia, what the hell is going on, girl? And so, me and Petunia were looking up at this thing, and all of a sudden, I feel like I cannot move. I was paralyzed right where I was standing. With my little hands, I was actually kind of kneeling down, and I had my hands on Petunia's others, and I could not move. And I could not squeeze them to get the milk out. So... I'm paralyzed, looking up like this, and Petunia just starts mooing, 
mooing like I ain't never heard a day in my life. So she was mooing and mooing and mooing. And I'm paralyzed. I am struck with feet. Uh, mind you, I cannot move a single limb in my body. So, but I'm looking up. So I see everything. And as I'm looking up, I see the lights beam down from the spaceship. And I'm like, oh my God, it's coming for me. This is not the reckoning I was supposing would happen. And so I am just trying to protect my cow with my thoughts because I can't do nothing else. I am paralyzed. And so temporarily, obviously I can move now. This light is just coming and getting brighter and brighter. And I am just stuck looking and looking and Tina is mooing and mooing. And then all of a sudden my younger cousin Stuart comes out from the barn and I swear on um, Petunia so that UFO disappeared straight away. I don't know why. That the kid was like seven years old at the time, not scared. I was bigger. I was like probably 13. And so the UFO went away, but mind you, this was the second time that this had happened. So me and Petunia took our butts back inside. She let me milk her just fine inside this time. And uh, and my cousin, I said, you are staying with me for the rest of the day. And uh, my cousin, I kept him right by my side. We put Petunia away. And after that, everything was fine. But I knew what I seen. I saw a little gray alien man. And so... Because of that, I'm an alien believer, and I am now a part of the alien abduction support group. I mean, we got Alan here right as proof. So, I actually dyed my hair in support of him. So, yes, this is the alien abduction support group. I am Cheryl. Um, please remember my dear cow. Excuse me, I touched the microphone. Please remember my dear cow, Petunia. May she have a peaceful rest of her life. She is actually still alive. She is a beautiful dairy cow, that, that petunia. I'm not sure how Jesse usually ends these things, wraps it up and whatnot, but yeah, my name is Petunia. This is the Alien Abduction Support Group. Please like and subscribe to this channel, uh, Cloud Shadow TV. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Cheryl. You probably won't see me again, but... uh. It was nice knowing y'all. Comment on this video. And if you have seen the alien, just know that you are in the right place. This is the space for the alien abduction support group. And uh, we got you. We are here to hear your stories. And uh, have a wonderful evening. Peace out, Earthlings. And I'm paralyzed. <laughs> Hmm.